Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Good morning, everyone. Skies are mainly clear for us this morning. And of course, you know what that means. Cooler temperatures. They have certainly arrived throughout the valley and it is a very chilly start to our day. We are just near 34 here in Terre Haute. The winds are calm again. Skies are clear. We have the humidity up to right around 88%. All good indicators that we could see that frost developing. I certainly had frost on my windshield this morning. Just take that extra time to head out to your vehicle and perhaps allow that time to uh, get that frost off your windshield so you have a safe morning commute and just let your car warm up because it's a cold start to the day. The bigger picture shows us that the skies have been clear through the overnight, but the bigger picture back to our northwest shows our next weather system that's going to move in from the upper Midwest. That's a cold front that's now bringing showers to portions of Minnesota into Iowa, and that chance of rain will move into the Wabash Valley as we head through the next day or so. So in your day planner for today, again, we are starting off with a partly cloudy sky as we look ahead at our afternoon becoming mostly cloudy as we look ahead at this evening temperatures though rebounding back to around 54, but we only stay in the mid 50s for today, so it will be an overall cooler one as we look ahead at this afternoon and then this evening. Well, that's when that rain chance looks to move into the picture, looking for a chance of a few scattered showers around 7 PM lasting through 10 PM. The sky has become cloudy and temperatures fall back through the 50s. So overall, not necessarily the most pleasant of evenings, but tonight I'll let you know this. It is going to be better than tomorrow night while we're tracking on Halloween evening is actually looking to be pretty uncomfortable, pretty spooky with some howling winds at that. Friday morning, we'll pick this up. We'll look at a cloudy sky at this point with a few scattered showers lingering through the day on Friday. Here's about 6 p.m. It looks like the bulk of the moisture is going to be off to our east at that point, but nonetheless, Friday is going to be pretty saturated and any leftover moisture we're looking at by Saturday morning could change over into the frozen form. Now, I'm not expecting widespread snow or anything to accumulate, but again, any leftover moisture through the overnight Friday into Saturday morning could briefly change over into a bit of a wintry mix. So do keep that in mind. It's just going to get colder by Saturday morning, though. You'll notice that those skies really clear out for us. We're looking at a mostly sunny day on Saturday. Just really cool. Temperatures only look to rebound into the mid 40s and going to the rest of the weekend. Saturday even into Sunday is going to show us that the skies stay mainly clear. We are looking at that cooler air really sticking with us for the second half of the weekend as well. So for today, looking for areas of frost this morning with increasing cloud cover this afternoon. That's in advance of that next weather system set to bring in a few scattered showers by this evening. Temperatures only reach near 55 through the evening and overnight tonight. Looking at that chance for a few isolated rain showers. If you're headed out for trick or treating this evening, just keep that in mind. Make sure to have that umbrella ready to go as we fall back near 39 through the overnight. Night. Scattered rain showers continue for tomorrow, otherwise a mostly cloudy sky. Something you'll notice tomorrow as well as the winds pick up with the exiting system to our east. We are going to expect wind gusts and the upwards of 35 miles per hour out of the northwest, so it's going to be a very cold wind at that. We only top out near 46 degrees. That's our daytime high for Friday and then inching our way into the weekend. You'll notice overnight low temperatures in the 20s. Daytime highs only in the 30s, a very chilly but dry Saturday and Sunday. Looking ahead of next week, we start to warm things back up by Monday, a high near, near 60 with partly cloudy skies and then yet again another weather system will bring showers back into the picture next Tuesday and Wednesday.